All right, guys, picking up where we had left off last time, we're actually going to work on Iron Amber today. It's fairly straightforward. All it is is a matter of collecting what you already made, which is uh, you need some coal resin, gravel resin, sand resin, clay resin. It's just craftable from there on. And that'll hit your achievement. So at this point in the game, one of the things we're going to start needing is uh, water more. So I, I will set up a structure about like this. I usually do it right behind my smelter. And what I'll do is basically use the little water bucket trick to lay out a foundation like this. Use the little water bucket. I think everybody knows this trick, but just in case you've never seen it. Just kind of hover along, create yourself a little foundation there. Swim your way back to the top. And that'll let, give you kind of a guide plan where you can follow it the rest of the way. Put yourself a bottom in it. Then do your bucket one side like that, and you'll see the water flowing that way. Go back over here, get your other bucket of water. And at that point, you have pretty much an unlimited water source, provided you don't pick up either end. So for now, we're going to skip up doing this direction. We're going to go stick down to here, okay? So we're going to do the iron sapling. Iron sapling, what you're going to need is a casting table with an Arcadia tree. Or, sorry, Arcadia sapling. Arcadia sapling, you get by an apple sapling. Apple sapling, you get from apple seeds, to which case you get that from an apple. Apple se seeds, I'm sorry, apples come from either apple sapling or the oak sapling. The oak sapling you get from the dirt sapling. So, start off, you need a dirt sapling, okay? And some water. Go back to your cauldron. That'll give you your oak sapling. All right, so once you've planted your oak sapling, picked it up a few times, you'll wind up with an apple at some point. So take your apple, drop it in your crushing tub, Jump on it, you'll get your apple seeds. Once you've got your apple seeds, what you're going to need to do is have a place to plant them. Okay? Get yourself some fresh water. Bring it over your cauldron, okay? Take some dirt in it, and make yourself some mud, okay? You should have plenty of leaves by now, providing you've been doing the uh, bonsai tree style. And basically, take any of these leaves, dunk them in the mud, and that'll give you grass blocks, okay? Take the grass blocks, make yourself a grass area. You don't got to do it this big, obviously. I just went a little crazy, okay? Next thing you're going to need is a hoe, okay? Hoe is two sticks, two wood. That's going to give you your hoe. Take your hoe, pick a spot, boom. Plant your seeds. And you can wait on it, or you can bone mill it either which way. For speed sakes, what I'd tell you is take this bone millet, that'll become a sapling. Take the sapling, pick it up, go put it in a bonsai pot. It'll save you a lot of time that way. Okay? At some point, you'll wind up with a second sapling, which is kind of the goal. Once you get your second sapling, get yourself a little more water, put your apple sapling in it. That gives you your Arcadia sapling. Once we've got our Arcadia sapling, we're pretty much ready to go, except for we're really not. Okay? If you're using the heater, okay, then you're not going to be able to generate enough heat, basically. You can throw whatever you want to throw in here, pretty much, and with the exception of what very few things, it's just not going to get enough heat. Okay? So really what you're going to need instead is something hotter that you can deal with. Okay? To which case, we're going to skip ahead to achievements again. Go back over here, and now we're going to create this tank here. Okay, we'll still use the heater later on for this, so it's not like we, you know, did anything wrong. It's just we just need a better heat source at this point. Okay, you could also have made that earlier if you didn't. No big deal. But either which way, we're going to go ahead and craft that. Again, porcelain, glass, and that creates that accomplishment. 
So once you've got your oh, that's good. Once you've got your tank, basically, you place your heater with it, right? And you're good to go, right? No, not quite. Because now you need a heat source, okay? Which means we need something like lava, okay? Lava, pretty much the easiest way I know to do this, okay? Is pick yourself a nice little corner, whatever, okay? You're going to need a spot where, one, it's going to be cobblestone or something likewise, so that you don't have to worry about burning your place down, okay? Uh, you're also going to need a little step to get up on uh, higher than it. We're not going to move our cauldron at this point. Okay? Take your cauldron. Put it up higher. Put your torch underneath it. At that point, you can take cobblestone, put it in here, you'll get lava. Once you got a thousand of it, use your clay bucket, pick it up. Your clay bucket, however, you're going to lose once you do this the first time. So, you one time shot, got to get an iron made before you can do that, or make more buckets, either which way. Once you've got your lava made in hand, take that, pour it in the tank. Now, you'll be able to melt that. And it does take a moment. So, we're just going to kind of speed through that. Once it's melted, take your sapling, place it, put a cool weight on progression. And there's your iron sapling. For your iron ingot, the easiest solution, honestly, just take a piece of uh, iron amber, burn it. Not the preferred method way, there's much more efficient ways of getting iron, but this is the fast one. And that'll get your achievement done. Once you got three pieces of iron, just go ahead and craft your bucket. And that finishes that achievement. So one thing I would tell you to do uh, if you're planning to do every achievement and all that is once you've got iron, okay, I would get off this path for a minute, go over here in the farming and the bonsai tree we did earlier, we're going to make the hopping bonsai tree now, okay? This pays off royally in the long run if things the way I'm planning to do this, okay? So what we want to do is basically pick a tree, pick it up, that's going to give you your bonsai pot back, okay? Go over here, you're going to have to create a hopper, but you need the chest and some iron. Okay, once you get your hopper, <laughs> then that will allow you to combine that with your bonsai. And that'll make you a hopping bonsai pot, which gives you that achievement. So what you want to do once you once that ah, once you have your bonsai plant or pot, okay, or your hopping bonsai pot, I should say, put it down, okay, piece of dirt, put your sapling in it again, okay. It's gonna start going. However, you're not done, okay. Don't ignore that right now. What we're going to do basically is we're going to go over here now, and we're going to create a filing cabinet, okay. Filing cabinets, iron. And that's actually just a chest. It looks kind of weird, but it's just a chest, okay? You can do other things too, but you don't need to, okay? But create yourself a uh, filing cabinet, in which case you're going to need iron bars, okay? Make yourself the iron bars with the iron. Then create yourself the filing cabinet. Take your filing cabinet, put it down, okay? Pick your bonsai plot up. and put your bonsai tree on top of your filing cabinet. So once you get your filing cabinets up and going and everything, get yourself some sand, okay? Now, once you get your sand, go over to your crafting table, and make yourself some of the snad, okay? To which case, snad comes in this achievement down here at the bottom, okay? Place snad 
and grow sugar to grow sugar cane. Okay, so all you gotta do is place it. Ah. Find a place near water. Pop it in. And there you go. That is that achievement. So once you get that done, all you gotta do is make the sugar cane now. Okay, so take some leaves, pretty much. Pop them in your crushing tub. Jump on them. You get sugar cane seeds. Ta-da! So once you've placed that, you get your sugar cane seeds. Go ahead and pop them in there, and then go ahead and hit your bone mill a time or two until it quits growing, okay? At that point, just ignore it, okay? For a second or so. Since you got some bone mill, hopefully you got enough for this, and hopefully you made enough grass blocks too, go ahead and take the bone mill, pop it on the grass. What you look for is a poppy. So once you have your poppy, take the poppy over to your crafting table, pop it on there, you get red rose. That is what we're going to use with the red, instead of red dot power, we're going to use it right there, red rose. Two irons, petrified coal, I get you your red stone sapling. And that completes that achievement. Okay, so Farm your redstone sapling, basically, until you get enough red cone acor redstone acorns to where at that point, then you can craft yourself a piece of block of redstone. Take the block of redstone, go ahead and break it down, okay? Make yourself two redstone torches. Once you have those two redstone uh, Torches then basically take uh, three pieces of cobblestone and cook them. That's going to give you three stone. What we're going to do with the three stone is we're going to go in here to a repeater, redstone repeater. <coughs> Once you get the redstone repeater, go ahead and uh, four pieces of iron, take the remaining redstone you've got. Give yourself a redstone clock. Take that clock. Put this right next to your uh, sugar cane here. Just lower this down all the way. Just let it go crazy. Okay, and you'll notice that sucker's just going to take off. Providing you get the sugar cane like maybe a minute. You need 12 of these, okay? So just chop it one above the uh, bottom. Grab what comes down. Which, uh, you, you'll obviously have more than uh, the 12 you're going to need. Just a, just a little bit. And it's already taken off again. So, you know, just, just a little bit, okay? <laughs> so, take that over to your crafting table, okay? And what we're going to do with it is we're going to make paper, okay? I would just tell you straight up, make all the paper you can. Then take that and turn those into filing folders. And there's our filing folders, okay? You take your filing folder, and at this point we're going to open the filing cabinet, and then you basically take the any filing folder, take any item pretty much, and it makes a filing folder for that one particular item, to which case then you can put that in whatever folder it belongs to. So once you get that done, what I'd go is take every tree, okay, like for example my sand sapling, take everything that it makes pretty much, but you can just pick one of these up as you go, okay, and make yourself a folder for every little item it makes. So we'll just kind of sit here and do the sand one for a minute, okay? So there's our resin, our acorn, our wood, our leaves, our sticks, and our saplings, okay? Wood, saplings, those are kind of debatable on whether you want to do uh, you know saplings? Saplings, I would advise you to do sticks. Eh, you know it's up to you. Leaves, I 
kind of would do, but you don't really need them. But they kind of do kind of come in handy if you make certain things. Uh, oak wood, eh, you know, leave a couple of uh, the trees doing wood. I wouldn't say all of them. And then, of course, your acorn resin on every one of them. So then what you do is you just take that, and in the beginning, you can just pop them each in here. Eventually, we'll build a magnifying glass, and that works out way better. Once you've got it full the way you want it, Got it. That closes it, and you'll notice the numbers will continue to grow as the tree each time uh, resets. Like that one's got about 10% left. You'll notice the numbers will change. And there you go. Do that for every one of your trees. So once you get everybody all file cabineted up, you'll get something along the lines of this. You'll be able to just see them all collected. So the next thing you want to do is create an easier way to deal with some of the getting stuff in and out, which is magnifying glass. So that's going to be six pieces of glass and a stick, to which case glass is just sand that you, you know, smelted, burned. And uh, so you use the glass, carry yourself the glass pane, and then that you can make a magnifying glass with. So what the magnifying glass does is you walk it up with an empty hand, click on that, hit the magnifying glass, and it lets you organize these if you want, or pull just one individual one. Way easier to deal with. So make yourself that tool too. Very handy. So getting back around to our achievements finally, lapis. Lapis, you're going to need a dark oak sapling. Dark oak sapling comes from the coal sapling and water. Not that big a deal. The other things you're going to need for it are going to be the bottled water, to which case the bottled water, just water, any glass, pretty much, three of them. So we'll start with that. So any glass, pretty much, can be given bottled water. So we use these three glass as our bottled water. Go over here to our water spot, get our bottled water, okay? Uh, next thing we're going to need is that dark oak sapling, in which case we're going to need the uh, coal sapling. Okay, coal sapling just get from your coal trees. Okay, ah, I guess I hit that too. Oh well. Pull goes in there, there's your dark oak. Dark oak, you go over here to crafting. You can just click on it, make sure you get the clay and the bone. There's your lapis. Yeah, that's an achievement. For the lead amber, you're going to need the uh, um, lapis. So collect yourself nine acorns from it. Make yourself a lapis block. Go ahead and break the block. That'll get you the lapis that you need. And you'll use that to craft this. That'll be your lead amber. To which case, that is that achievement. For your lead sapling, you're going to need one more dark oak sapling. Put it in your casting table. Take your lead amber, put it in here. And pour. Let's have one. For gold amber, you're going to need a uh, yellow dye, which is dandelion. Okay? In my case, I got one earlier, but in case you didn't, don't forget to have your grass. Throw it on some bone mill. Hopefully, you'll get one. Okay. Hopefully, you'll get one. I'll also get some other seeds if you do it the way I'm doing it. Either which way, once you get to it, take your little dandelion over. There's your yellow uh, yellow dye. Once you get your yellow dye, then just go collect the rest of the items you need, which is the uh, iron, the lead, and the uh, sand. Find that with your yellow dye at your crafting table, and you get your gold amber. And that completes that achievement. 
for the gold sapling, just go get yourself an oak sapling out of your little chest over there. Pop the gold hammer in. Oak sapling in the table. Pour. Let dry. And you have your gold sapling. Alright, so the silver amber is a little different. Uh, you got a couple options on the way to do it. I'll just show you what I do. I'll show you both ways kind of to agree, okay? So, for silver amber, you're going to need this uh, powder, basically to make gray dye. Uh, everything else is pretty straightforward on it. But to get the gray dye is kind of the thing. You can either do it, uh, you'll notice it's flipping through options. There's two you can basically do. Iron berries or the gray dye. The gray dye I don't like doing because basically it takes coal or charcoal that you have to pulverize. Which then you got to create a grindstone uh, and there's just a bone mill other than that. The uh, reason I don't like doing it that way though is it's a temporary solution every time you need gray dye and that you need that. The other option is to get iron berries which come from ironwood sapling. The way you get an ironwood sapling, however, is the only way is through the market. So with that said, you're going to need beetroot. So we're going to start off getting beetroot. So pick yourself a bunch, up a bunch of bone mill, come back over here to this little patch we did, and just start hitting stuff, and you'll notice seeds will start dropping something. It'll take you a few. At some point, you'll get the beetroot seed. Once you get your eight beetroot, next thing you're going to need to mark it. Okay? Markets are basically five logs, two planks, a piece of red, red wool. The wool, if you remember, you get from the cottonwood leaves that you just dry. Once they're dried, they'll give you a string, four string, piece of wool. Combine that with a poppy. That'll give you your red wool, and that will make your market. Once you get your market, find yourself a nice handy dandy little spot. Doesn't really matter. We'll click right over here. And we got Jane Doe. If you don't like Jane Doe, you can delete it, you can pick that back up, bring it back down, and you'll get somebody else. Once your market's made, take a beetroot. I'll actually search for the word iron first. I'll give you your iron wood. It tells you you need eight beet root. Eight beet root. Pull it over. There's your iron wood, iron wood tree or sapling. Go plant it. Wait for the iron wood or iron iron berries. Yeah, iron berries. Yeah. Once you have your iron berry, then you can go in and make your silver amber. And that will complete. That achievement. So if you're, for your silver sapling you're going to need actually a mineral tree. So a mineral comes from a piece of lapis or lapis sapling I should say and water. So go, go make yourself one of those real quick if you haven't got one already. And then I advise again going and planting that thing and waiting for another sapling. Once you get your second mineral sapling, again, put it in the table there, melt your silver. Let it dry. And that completes that achievement. Diamond's probably the most straightforward one of them all. You just simply go collect what you need and craft. That'll create that achievement. And to get your diamond, you just get yourself nine diamond acorns. Go to your crafting table and make yourself a diamond. 
That'll complete all those except for the slime part, which we'll throw in with these up here. Because they do take a, it's a little process to it. So we'll do that on the next video. Anyway, hopefully this has helped y'all. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Uh, please like, subscribe, all that. And uh, we'll see you next video. Y'all have a good one.